go ahead and let's draw a box from the origin point. And I'm just going to hold shift, alt, constrain everything. And let's see, while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put in five inches for a good square. Oops, we'll go five inches. Okay, so we got five inches there. And I'm going to go ahead and do the push pull tool and I'm going to raise that by five inches. Okay, let's go ahead and orbit around. And let's see, how would I like to work with this? Grab the hand tool and just kind of move that over. We'll zoom in a little bit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab the tape measure tool and find the middle point. And we're going to go down, let's go down um, eighth of an inch. Oops. 2.875. That's a little more than eighth of an inch, but you get the point. And I'm going to go ahead and move over an eighth of an inch, which is just going to be over. Okay. Wait, seven. Pretty close. All right. So now that we have that done. What I can do then is grab my pencil tool here. And I'm just going to go this way. And okay. And what I can do is make sure that that, oops, I need to grab the tab there. And we're just going to flip that up going that way. So we have that. Now what I can do then is go hit Command Z because I wanted to try something unique here. What I'm thinking about doing is how is that going to close and lock? So one of the other ways is to create a locking tab. So I'm going to go ahead and find my middle point here. And it should find my middle point here for me. Two and a half inches. Yep. And we'll go down here. Oops. Actually, Command Z. Go down. We'll find the middle point there. Okay, so what I've done is I've found the middle point of the box that I have created here just by making these guides. And what I will end up doing then is actually I'm going to do the offset. No. Over. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and create some guides again. This will make a lot more sense. So if I go over. So I have it there and I'm going to go two and a half inches minus. Point. No, I'll we'll do 1.5. It should move that guide over. Oh, I'm gonna do the tilt key. 1.5. Okay, so there we go. And then if we Go from here to the origin, or to the middle point of that, and then we went 
0.5. It should move that over that way. I'm going to hit the erase tool because I don't like the looks of that one. I don't think we did that correctly. And There we go. Okay. So basically, I'll grab my dimension figure here. Go from here to here. We got one inch. Okay. From here to here, we have one inch. All right. And then from here to here, at one point or one and five sixteenths and then from here to here we have one and five sixteenths so that's that's why i want i just want to make sure that that's all symmetrical there looking good that's three sixteenths actually let's move him up a little bit so i can see him okay make sure that this is three sixteenths as well my hand tool good beautiful all right let's go ahead and erase that just so that we know that everything's measuring up nicely now here comes the fun part and what i would like to do is i would like to make this so the tab we're going to create a locking tab here So we got this, this, okay, this. and then I'll go over here, and then I'm going to create a circle, and we're going to go out, let's go to 0.5, okay, whoops. So we have the circle. Then I'm going to create, I'm going to erase that part. I'm going to erase this part. Okay. So this is all one piece, this here. And I'm going to take and lift this up by selecting that coming over and selecting this okay as you can see there's that now what I would need to do then is take this line actually I wouldn't let me hit erase here because we don't need these guides and so forth anymore erase that there as well so what I then could do is take this segment oops, and hit erase. Oops. Hit erase here. Trying to figure out why that's doing that. Well, this is one of the ways we can do that. We can just connect that. Okay. So then we can go. There we go. Okay. So now basically what happens is we have this unit here. And I'll see if I can get that to rotate. Uh, let me do my orbit tool here. Actually, and then I got to make this. Uh, Make that a group because I want to rotate Oops. I'll rotate this independent. Oops. 
Well, except what I can do then is I can take and go here, select that, and just close it. So, we'll take this. As you can see, that dumps it like that. Because basically, what has happened is we have to explode that. We have to make this a component. So we'll explode that. We're going to make this component. And this will make a component. So we have two separate components. And we'll go here. It should work. So basically, what I need to do then, because I identified this as my area that I need to rotate, so we should be able to nope, rotate that down. Okay, so we have it like so, and then the question would be then. Well, how is that going to lock in? And the answer would be, let's go ahead and flip that up. We could take this, find the middle points of these here, okay? And then we can erase that. And then I can take, and I should be able to grab my guides here. Oops. So, well, that's just one of the things that, you know, I've been working on and creating um, just some boxes with uh, different configurations of tabs and uh, so forth. This is more so to get back from to being familiar with Google SketchUp, or um, in this case, you know, they're, it's called SketchUp, and uh, how to use it for paper crafting and for creating packaging and, and so forth. Um, it's something that's enjoyable and fun for me. And uh, I hope that you've enjoyed so far what I've created and I'd like to see you back again when I create more. Have a great day.